Hello everyone and welcome to one of the first videos of what I hope is going to be a long series of tutorials on how to paint stuff. If you guys have any suggestion on what I should do next, let me know if you want to know anything. If you're curious about something, let me know. I will try to make a video out of it. So today we're painting the cloak of this guy. The thing we're going to go for is this. This is our objective. It is very easy to do once you know what to do. So I'm gonna try to show you guys. So first off, I base coated everything using a night sky blue from Reaper HD. And now I picked up some black, placed it on the palette, and I'm gonna use some flow improver to give it a nice runny consistency. Flow improver is very useful when you want to do edge highlights and when you do glazes. So now we're gonna do a glaze, so this thing is very useful. I added a drop of it to the water I have on the palette, so it's 50-50, and now I'm gonna dilute the black using this mix, so it is very watery. And then I'm gonna clean my brush on a paper towel I have, so that I don't have too much on my brush. And I'm gonna go and paint the shadows with it. So I'm gonna do a couple of glazes. Always have the brush go in the same direction, never move it around otherwise it will uh, move the pigments in such a way that they will leave stains or might even take off the paint from the miniature so of course i want the, the deepest shadow here in the recess so it's almost like a wash but more controlled I always start by painting the shadow because I think it's easier to place the highlights after without going on, going on top of the base coat. Because if I place the highlight first and then the shadow, and the shadow is a glaze, I risk of going over the whole base coat and lose it. So by doing the shadow first, now I know where to place the layer of the highlights without going too much over the base coat and leaving like a little line of it showing, so it creates a gradient. We need to wait for it to dry because if we touch it as it's drying it's going to really take off the paint. If you have a spare air dryer you don't need, use it for your hobby because it's very useful to, 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 make, to make the paint dry while, while you're painting, especially glazes. I wouldn't suggest it for washes though because the, the air from the air dryer is going to move the wash around as it's drying and make a mess, but it works on glazes. So one more glaze. I am happy for now. So our next color is Dragon Blue from Reaper. This is the best blue I've ever used. I love it so much. We're gonna pick some of it. We want to pick layers this time so we're not don't gonna do glazes. But what we want to do is still go in the direction we want the, the highlight to be strongest. For example here if I were to move the, the brush around randomly I would leave some very hard to cover lines because most of the pigments would be here. So what I want to do is move the brush towards the light as I place the layer so that is it is easier for me to blend them later because most of the pig most of the pigment is gonna be where you end your brush strokes not where you start them so if you start them from the darkest part and then move towards the lighter it is easier to, to paint and blend with glazes so this is the first layer, same here, from the base coat to the highlight. And I think, like, I think that painting capes 
and cloak is very easy to understand where the light goes but if you have troubles just place the miniatures like this whatever you see whatever you still see parts of the mini that's where the light is gonna hit so here here and all here those are all highlights One more layer and then we should be good. These Reaper HD colors have the, the perk of being able to cover very easily. So you don't need as many coats as you would with other paints because they are very pig pigmented. This is gonna be probably one of the, the darkest shadows because the, the cape is well twirling around. <coughs> we also need to highlight here. can see I'm always moving the brush towards the light this is probably the most important thing because it really makes much easier to do the the blending later if you don't have a thick line of paint between the two layers As you can tell here, some of the paint is not covering. This is because I moved the paint a bit too much as it was drying. Should probably dry even. So one final check to see if the paint has covered everything and I can say that here it didn't so I want it to be very opaque so now I'm going with a bit of thinner paint from what I used until now and just lightly moving it so that it catches all these areas where the paint didn't cover well I see, I still move here. It's okay, while that dries, I'm gonna dilute this dragon blue I just used a lot so that I can make a glaze. And I'm gonna use the glaze to do the lower kind of highlight because I think this should still be in light even though it's, it's on the bottom part, but shouldn't be as strong as this highlight. So I'm using this glaze to connect the two. And we can also use it <coughs> to blend it the layer we just we just placed with the base coat if we want. And 
Now what I'm gonna do is do a glaze of the base coat, this time night sky blue. And I'm going to stipple it onto the separation line between the base coat and the highlight. You can do it any way you want. You can do you can use the light the highlight as a glaze and go towards the light. You can use the base coat and go towards the base coat with the brush strokes. You can use a mix of the two and just kind of randomly move around, trying to make it even. You can do whatever you want. I always kind of mix all the kind of techniques you can use. I would do I sometimes do uh, a glaze with the highlight, then change with the glaze to the base coat and then do a mix and do that just to make it blend as much as I can. Now I'm going back to the glaze of the highlight because I want this to be a bit more blended. And I also want this to come back. see everything it's that is showing from the top is being alighted while from the bottom is not which is kind of the point of alighting okay. now I'm doing the mix I talked about I'm gonna mix dragon blue with night sky blue and this is going to be basically my gradient. You can skip all the glazes I've did, except this one. This is this is the fastest glaze to do. Doesn't let you have the best results. You still need to do some other glazes before to have the best results, I think. But if you just use this one, you can get some great results in no time. So it really depends on how much time you want to spend your minis so if you want to do it the easy way just use this glaze 50 50 mix of the base tone with the highlight try to have as little paint as you can on your brush was what most people make as a mistake when they start using glazes it's that they dilute the paint right the problem is that they still have too much on the brush so it leaves coffee stains you need to have almost no paint on the brush this is just the base color I'm using it because I feel like this shouldn't be completely in shadow so I'm bringing it back a bit now, now that we have a more clear picture of what we have we need to increase the shadows because they are a bit too flat they all look the same which is not right because this shadow should be way darker than this for example so we're going to increase the shadows with the glaze of black we did before You 
You can always stop at any point you feel like you have achieved your result. You don't need to always go all in and do amazing things. For example, what I'm painting now is something kind of tabletop quality, decent tabletop quality. So I'm not going to incredible, incredible lengths to make them look amazing. I just want them to look okay on the table. Now that we have done this, we can do the th third highlight. Oh, wait, one second, I forgot. We also have this little part here, which should be shaded. We can do the next highlight. For that, I'm going to use solid white. And I'm going to mix it with my dragon blue to make a lighter color. And now, as a glaze, I'm going to stipple it around. This is a bit too light. Gonna let that dry. <coughs> so I'm gonna stipple it around. Again, I will worry about blending it later. But being it very thin and also having flow improver on it, the flow improver is going to help me by blending some of it from the moment I place it. So I will have less work to do later. Flow Improver is not mandatory when you do glazes, but it really cuts some time from your work, so the more time you can save, the better. Of course, every highlight needs to be smaller than the one before. We don't want this to cover the whole light highlight we just did, otherwise doesn't make much sense. But in this case, we can play with the light and make it look like the highlight is one of the shadows of the highlight. Because here you can see that, that, that there's a small weird thing that is not going to be a shadow, but it's going to be a to have less light than the top ridges. So we can kind of have the second highlight as a shadow of the last highlight. I went over the shadow. What I'm doing is using a wet brush with no paint on it to scrape the paint before it dries.
looks decent enough. Now we're going to add a bit more dragon blue to the color we just used to basically create a 50-50 mix of dragon blue and the highlight we just made. And now we're going to blend it again like we just did. So we stipple it on the sides of the eyelet. Okay, and now we can do one last light if we really want it with almost pure white mixed with a very tiny amount of uh, dragon blue. This needs to be done only on the bottom side of the cape or the, the top. Now a bit of an edge lighting. I'm gonna use just dragon blue because most of the edges are gonna be on the right side and they are not much in shadow. So I don't want to use my lightest color to do edge highlights of places that are in shadow. And now you can do whatever you want. You can keep going, going, going. Like for example, I will probably go here and decrease this highlight because I think it's a bit too big. I'd like to have it more closer to the to the base coat color on this part. And uh, you can also deepen the shadow, go to pure black if you want. You can use purple in the shadows to give it a bit more interesting interest. You can use texturing instead of just layering. You can do whatever you want. This is my 50 cents on, on, cape, on capes, and I think they look okay. Like all together. They will look nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please let me know if you like the video, if you like the, clo the cloak, if you'd like to see some specific videos.
on any subjects about painting and i'll see you in the next video right take care guys bye bye